Neurodiversity in museums. To be neurodivergent means that a person processes information in a different way than the general population. This includes autism, dyslexia, ADHD, dyspraxia and many more. This is a learning toy made by Maria Montessori in the 1920s. She was an Italian physician and an educational theorist. I asked Ruben Crew and Anissa, who are both neurodivergent, about this toy. How does this object make you feel? Well, to me it feels really old, not something I would see today. If I was a child in the 1920s, I think I would have loved it. What do you think, Ruben? To be honest, this object is a bit unusual. If I didn't already know it was a toy, I'd feel confused. Do you think museums could do more to represent neurodiversity? Yes, I think museums should speak about neurodiverse kids and show us their achievements. Yeah, I agree. I didn't know neurodiverse people could be represented in museums. I'd love to find out more. Hmm, yeah, I think kids might find it hard to match the individual colours on both straps. It looks like you have to knot them together. It's great for getting kids thinking. Would including tools like this be beneficial to neurodivergent children in education? Yeah, I think it would be beneficial because it's meeting the needs of the individual and it's helping them develop in a way that feels natural to them. There is always space for more info. Not all professionals are educated enough about neurodiversity. Did you have any toys like this to support your learning? If not, do you wish you had? No, I've never had a toy like this. And yes, I would have been open to trying it just to see if it made a difference for me. Me too. I didn't know I was neurodivergent until I went to college, so I missed out on using learning toys like this. If you could add an object to the museum collection that relates to neurodiversity, what would it be? Hmm, I would love to include something soft. Hmm, it would have to be a Rubik's Cube. I like the feeling of it and the sound it makes.